This video will show you how you can improve motivation with the three needs theory. Psychologist David McClellan developed the three needs theory. This theory explains that everyone has differing needs for affiliation, achievement, and power. Each of these three needs are important, but everyone usually has one or two of these needs that are the most important to them. Your employees bring these three needs to the workplace. When your employees' most important needs are met, they feel more motivated and committed to the organization. When your employees' most important needs are not met, their morale suffers. This weakens their motivation. So how can you apply the three needs theory to your employees at your workplace? By making simple adjustments to your leadership style, you can improve the working environment and employee motivation. You do this by understanding your employees' most important needs and adjusting your style to work with them. Let's look closer. These are your employees that have a high need for affiliation. What exactly do they want from the workplace? Your affiliation employees value social interaction and cooperative working relationships. They are energized by working with others and they have a sincere interest in the feelings of others. Here's three things you can do for your high affiliation employees. First, don't let workplace conflict get out of control. Second, assign them to work on team projects with people that they like. And third, engage with them on a personal level. Don't be a task manager who only speaks to them to give them work. What about your employees who have a high need for achievement? What can you do for them? Your achievement employees value recognition and fulfilling their goals. They are energized by taking personal responsibility for work tasks. They also like detailed feedback on their performance and taking on moderately difficult challenges. Here's three things you can do for your employees with a high need for achievement. First, set them up to succeed. Provide growth and educational opportunities. Second, tell them what you want and give them autonomy to get their work done. Don't micromanage. And third, Give them detailed feedback about their performance. Be specific and constructive in your feedback. So let's talk about your final group of employees. Your employees who have a high need for power. Your power employees value the ability to influence and control their environment to meet their goals. They seek leadership opportunities and they communicate in a direct manner. So what can you do to create the right work environment for your employees with a high need for power? 
First, provide them with opportunities to lead others. Second, give them opportunities to give you input on operational issues. And third, be direct in your communication. Be decisive, be consistent and clear. In conclusion, the three needs theory is a great tool to help you improve employee motivation. All it takes is for you to learn the individual needs of your employees and align your leadership style with their most important needs. Thank you.